Do you know the struggle of finding a sunglass frame that fits? They're either too small, don't provide enough coverage, or squeeze uncomfortably? We're here to take care of that today with the best Ray-Bans for big heads. Hi, I'm Gabriella, the Ray-Ban brand expert at SportRx, and today we're going to be addressing the issues of sunglasses that are too small. So we've got the best Ray-Bans for big heads. As we go through these frames, we're going to correct all the issues from a too small fit and give you the best styles to choose from. A few things to keep in mind as we go through these styles. We do show them with a single lens color in each, but there are quite a few Ray-Ban lenses and we have a full guide that you can check out. And also they're available with prescription lenses and you can choose from SportRx custom lenses or Ray-Ban authentic lenses, which will show the Ray-Ban logo on your prescription lens. All right, we're gonna kick things off with an iconic style. This is a Ray-Ban RB2140 Original Wayfarer. What's so great about the original is this is by far the most generous in sizing within the full Wayfarer collection, which we do have a video that goes over all of them, but this is by far the biggest one within them. This here is a 54 eye size and it's a full acetate frame. What's so distinctive about the Wayfarer is the bold look and strong angles on this style. It has a tendency to look a little overpowering if you have a smaller face or more delicate facial features, which is why this is in today's lineup, because it balances really well if you have a bigger head. This one here is considered a unisex extra large and has a Sporter X frame width of 142. All right, so now we've got the frame that started it all. This is the Ray-Ban RV 3025 Aviator 62 eye size. This one was designed in 1937, and it's definitely the frame that has become the most iconic of all the Ray-Ban styles. And a quick note on this particular one, you sometimes might see it as a RB3026 Aviator 2. It's the same frame, don't worry if you decide 62 is the best for you. Just compare those two model numbers because sometimes I've noticed there are different color combinations. The reason this one does so well on bigger faces is the fact that we've got a really dramatic oversized teardrop lens. The thin metal design of the frame balances really well with this, and the reason the 62 is the best for our larger heads is the fact that Ray-Ban actually offers it in three different eye sizes, and this one's the largest. This one here is considered a unisex extra large and has an SFW of 142. A quick note as well on the fit, it has adjustable nose pads so you can get a perfect fit on the bridge. All right, if you liked the Aviator, you're gonna love the RB3029 Outdoorsman 2. So this one's very similar to the Aviator, it is inspired by it. But as you can see, we've got an addition of an acetate sweat bar, which I think just looks fantastic on this frame. It has a functional purpose to block a little extra light from the top and catch sweat. Whether or not you're using that as such is up to you, I just think it looks cool. Again, this one's actually only available in a 62i size. so. Smaller faces, you're not gonna really have a choice for this one, but that's why it's a great option if you do have a bigger head because it is only available in that 62. Similar to the Aviator, it has a unisex extra large and has an SFW of 143. Okay, and here we have the Ray-Ban RB4165F Justin. This is a 58 eye size and you might have caught me catching F after the model number. Ray-Ban uses an F when it's considered an Asian fit frame, which means that it has a narrower nose bridge and a shallower lens. Typically those facial features with like higher cheekbones or a more narrow no nose bridge aren't necessarily comfortable in standard fit frames, which is why Asian fit is such a great option. Now, in the case of the Justin, we're always super transparent with you guys and I wanted to point out this frame because it's honestly not really an Asian fit. It doesn't have a narrower nose bridge nor does it have a shallower lens in the largest size, which is the 58 here. And so this is an awesome option if you like the look of the Wayfarer but want something with a bigger lens. This is more rectangular, more square compared to the Wayfarer. And then you're also just getting a bit more coverage. So this one here is considered a men's extra large and has an SFW of 143. Next up, we have another Asian fit frame, which I'm gonna call out here shortly. This is the RB3016F Clubmaster 55 eye size. Now this one actually does follow through with the Asian fit. It has a narrower nose bridge, which is two millimeters smaller than the standard fit classic Clubmaster. 
But something really important on this frame is the fact that it has adjustable nose pads, which if you've seen my other videos, I'm obsessed with nose pads. I really think they're the key ingredient to getting a perfect fit. And on this specific frame, that allows you to adjust it so that two millimeter difference isn't really that big of a deal. Okay, so thus far we've had pretty much lifestyle sunglasses, but we're gonna move along to some performance oriented frames. First up, we have the Ray-Ban RB2027 Predator 2. So this style is definitely a wraparound frame. You're gonna get excellent coverage and wind protection. And it's also a nylon base construction, which means that it's a really lightweight yet durable frame. This one here actually has temple tips that are rubberized and textured so that you're getting a secure fit as you wear it throughout the day. This one's considered a unisex extra large and has an SFW of 142. Staying true to that performance oriented style, we're gonna move along to the RB3498. This one here is a 64i size, which is the largest of the two. And I just think this is a beautiful frame. You're still gonna get the same coverage and protection as you do from the Predator 2 that we looked at previously. But this one here just has a really beautiful construction of a full metal design. It also has brushed temples that just look really elegant when worn. Another cool feature on this one is that you have spring hinges, so you're never gonna get those tight pressure points behind your ears or an uncomfortable fit, because it really flexes to fit your head. Another feature that we saw in the Clubmaster is actually it has adjustable nose pads. So unlike the Predator 2, where you don't have that option of adjusting the bridge, on the RB3498, you do. This one's considered a men's extra large and has an SFW of 144. All right, that does it for the best Ray-Bans for big heads. I hope these seven styles gave you something to consider when you're shopping so you never have to wear a frame that doesn't fit again. In regards to the sizing, we do have a ton of size guides on our channel, so I encourage you to check them out. There's helpful tips. We show them on models that they fit so you can get a better idea of which size will fit you best. Now, we do understand that it can be hard to determine which size is gonna be best for you. So that's why when you shop with SportRx, take 45 days with your sunglasses. See if you like how they fit, how they feel, and everything that goes with it. If you're not 100% satisfied, let us know and we'll take care of you. We never charge restocking fees and we cover shipping both ways. If you wanna get it right the first time, reach out to us. We have a great team of opticians who always love to help. Thank you so much for joining me today and watching. I hope you found this video helpful. We've got great other pieces over here for you to check out. And if you wanna be the first one to know when we release new content, go ahead and subscribe. We're always putting out new pieces. If you have ideas, leave a comment down below or shout out to us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram.